Yeah, certain epistemologists have claimed over the years, uh, Immanuel Kant, uh, David Hume, and most recently uh, Robert Foglin, that making a jump from a priori or, or uh, experience-based knowledge into the realm of the metaphysical is not is not possible or not uh, intellectually responsible? How would we respond to something like this? Well, at least with respect to the lecture this morning, I haven't done that. Uh, th the question concerns leaping from some sort of a priori knowledge to metaphysical knowledge. Now, what's a priori knowledge? This would be knowledge that is gained prior to experience a sort of innate knowledge. But I think if you look at the premises of the argument I discussed, they're hardly a priori. They appeal to things like scientific evidence for fine tuning, for the beginning of the universe. Even the ontological argument I have come to see is really an a posteriori argument. That is to say, it is based on experience. It's based on uh, our understanding of, of modality and our experience of possibility and necessity. So I don't think these arguments are a priori in any sort of objectionable way. I do think they appeal to rational intuition, but I, I see no trouble with that. It, if someone wants to defend a sort of strict naturalistic empiricism, I think probably he's going to be caught in self-refutation. Because the person who says something like this, we should only believe what can be scientifically proven, that statement itself can't be scientifically proven so that it's self-defeating. Uh, Michael Ray in his book, the, uh, Wor A World Without Design, I think has shown that the only plausible view of naturalism is as a methodological assumption, which someone might adopt, but as a methodological assumption, it's neither true nor false, and someone's able to adopt different methodological assumptions.